In the last video, I got most of the fabrication done on the seat pan. Now I'm just gonna drill and flare some holes to lighten it up and add some strength to it. I've got all the holes drilled and here's the dimple die. It's made to be used with a press, but I'm gonna try and put a nut and bolt through it and just tighten it down. That turned out pretty good. Now I need to drill some holes in the sides for a smaller die. So up next, I'm gonna get started on an inner fender that will connect to these holes and run down in between the frame rails. Using cardboard, I've come up with a shape that should work pretty good. Don't have very many metal shaping tools here, so it's a pretty simple design. Now I just need to cut it out of aluminum. So I use the air tank to match this bigger radius. And now for the sides, I'm gonna take it over here and use this piece of tube to match the tire radius on the edges.
Now I'm gonna do the bend along this line. It's gonna cause this to flatten back out. So I'll have to go back in and round it back out once I have that bend in it. With a quick test fit, it's pretty close. Just need to go back in and round out this straight bend and put a curve back in it. So as you can see, it's starting to get a little better shape to it now. Has a lot of hammer marks in it that I'll have to remove later. But it's starting to take shape. So I'm happy with the overall shape of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and weld up the cuts. So I've got the inner fender fitting how I want. Before I finish it, I'm gonna weld on the mounting tabs so I can drill the hole in the inner fender. The mounting tabs are tacked on. Now I can mark and drill my holes. So the last holes I need to drill are gonna to be to mount this mud flap to the inner fender. So I just need to mark those and drill them out. So I've got the overall shape of the inner fender done. Now I'm just gonna clean it up and take as many hammer marks out of it as I can.
Now that I've got the inner fender finished up, I'm gonna move on to this chain slider. It just needs a bracket up front and one in the rear to hold it on. So here's a look at the final results for the chain slider. Just a couple threaded holes and I cut it down to fit. So it's time to get started on the seat again. I've got the seat pan ready and it's time to add the foam to it. So that's going to be it on the seat for now. I will eventually be adding gel to it, but I'll be doing that later on. I also did a few things off camera. I moved the foot pegs back. I started working on the brake pedal and the brake stay. And I started working on the kickstand, which is from a KTM. It's a lot taller than stock and folds all the way up. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.